Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. Um, it is a blessing and I have tremendous gratitude for the, my ability to be able to hang out with you. I don't know if you saw the video that I posted first, but pretty much I was saying, I don't know if I was gonna like move inside because while I'm sharing this vision, this prophetic word that it is that I got, this prophetic message that it is that I got because I have chickens, if you don't know, I have nine chickens and I have two dogs and we're outside right now. There's a lot of things that it is that I can't control. My chicken laid an egg in that bush back there. Nova doesn't like the fact that she did that. My chicken doesn't like the fact that Nova's guarding that bush. Um, so basically what this is creating is some chaos. That's not a part of this prophetic vision. I'm just letting you guys know that whatever happens behind me, I cannot control. So just do your best to look past that if you can, if you can. All right guys, so this message is actually one of the first of its kind, maybe. I don't, I'm not someone who comes in and talks about my personal life um, because it doesn't serve the collective usually. Um, I'm not someone who talks about prophetic visions that I receive for myself because it doesn't benefit the collective usually. Um, I feel a great responsibility sometimes because of my astrological chart, that's my belief, and because of a promise that I made to the, the, the divine way back in the day um, to make sure that all messages that I share here on the platform are for the greater good and that they come directly from the divine. Having said that, Spirit told me that me sharing this story with you guys right now is a part of that process and that the only time for me to do that is right now, which is what I'm doing with you guys. Um, I do want to say that for sake of transparency, I'm a very private person. I don't like to talk about my personal life. I've always been that way ever since I was a kid. Um, I'm also someone who needs a lot of time to internally process stories, meaning like, like the story that I'm living in my life, because I kind of see it as like a story almost, and the stories that I tell myself, and for that reason, it's like I, I believe I have a certain feeling of responsibility when it comes to sharing those stories with the world because it can impact your story. It can impact how you feel about your own story. Um, having said that, I do want to kind of also now give a little disclaimers and trigger alerts. I'm going to be talking about the S word. I'm going to be talking about mental health, depression, anxiety, and eating disorders. Um, but I'm not going to be talking about them in detail because I'm not in a place in my life and spirit has not called me to share the details of those experiences. Oh, and also sexual assault um, in my life. So spirit, I was just coming back from the gym and the gym is a really important part of this story right now because it has to do with my own, it has to do with this, me this message right now. Basically lately I've been going to the gym. That's something that I've got done before in the past but not with as much excitement and enthusiasm as I'm doing now. As I was leaving the gym, down, Nova, leave her alone. Come here, come here, just sit down. Come here, sit down, down, good girl. As I was leaving, I'm gonna hold her paw. <laughs> um, as I was leaving the gym, I had this, I heard spirits say, just lead by example. And I was almost, my first reaction was to be almost instantly like offended because I'm like, what do you mean lead by example? Like. Have I not been leading by example? I talk about magic, I talk about my magical process to the extent that is appropriate for me sharing that with the world without someone trying to steal from me or take advantage of me or, or my magic, and so, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I share knowledge, ouch, sorry guys, my body's sore. I share as much knowledge as I feel comfortable sharing right now and I am always brutally honest when it comes to my astrological predictions. And Spirit's just like, yeah, and that's all great. You have been leading by example in that way, but also lead, lead more by example now or start incorporating um, leading by example when it comes to your personal life. And then I also got offended because I'm like, what do you mean? Like I share the fact that I have my spiritual side. I also have the side of me that likes to party. I have the side of me that likes to very introverted. I have the side of me that takes care of my chickens and my dogs. What am I shared sometimes the food that it is that I'm eating. How am I not leading by example? Everything is authentic. And then spirit was like talking about the gym, started talking about my, me going to the gym. And then I was like, oh. Even as I'm saying this now, I start to get quiet. 
because this is where it comes into a point where I don't have shame because that's not it. I just don't share these parts of myself. I have started entering into a point in my life where I've had spiritual, I've had spiritual progress. I share my spiritual beliefs with you guys and a lot of my spiritual practice. I've shared bits and pieces of my emotional, my emotional well-being and things that have worked for me and, and in general the things that I've lived through. Um, I've also talked about the mental. I haven't talked about the physical. And part of it is because I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to talk about it. But now I do feel like it's necessary to talk about it. Um, so full disclaimer, I've had sexual assault in my past that has impacted my understanding of safety. I've had traumas when it comes to my childhood upbringing that's no result of anybody. I always feel like I have to kind of share that. I deal with consistently depression and anxiety. I manage that as best as I can. I also, um, I've been in therapy most of my life. <laughs> most of my life. And it does help, but I also, because it doesn't always help and because it's not a consistent help and sometimes it's not enough, it has, and because of my ED issues, that are not related to body appearance. It's more of a mental thing, which I don't want to get into the details of that because I'm not sure that it's appropriate for me to share it with online and Spirit knows that I'm very protective of that. Because of that, it it puts me in a space and I'm very like much a perfectionist and I'm very much, I rely on my spirituality. It has put me in a place where I have, or consistently have confronted my internal demons um, when it comes to the S word and um, being able to maintain a life that would provide longevity for me. I have, I'm going to try not to cry, <laughs> um, I have a really strong sense of purpose here. I show up for the world and I give purpose. Like, I, I feel like I'm living, I give through my purpose. AKA, I talk about astrology. Astrology has always been my one and only anchor, as well as my spirituality and as, way, as well as my magic. I've always been a skeptical person. If it wasn't for me challenging my beliefs on the divine and magic and intention and manifestation, I wouldn't, number one, I wouldn't be here to this degree. Um, but I would never come in here and talk to you guys about that, but I have not been totally authentic until now. I've recently found that the physical aspect of myself was neglected because the emotional, mental sides of myself were, I was trying to figure it out and I was trying to heal it. I have always come to you guys a hundred percent on like in my beliefs, but I never shared this, all of the struggles and how constant the struggle was. Be and I kind of refrained from doing that because I still needed to figure out how to take care of that and to find something that worked for me. Again, I feel, I believed that I would be able to continue to live, but longevity, I don't know how long I would be able to, you know, I recently found that taking care of the physical body, not by being forced to do it, but by what the gym has been giving me, has given that to me. Basically, I, I heard recently um, someone say this, that working out at the gym has, it's like you're, you're shredding not only your body, but you're also shredding the memories. You're shredding the trauma. And after you're done, first of all, a <laughs> not only do I relate to that wholeheartedly, but the feeling that I feel after I leave the gym, the, the, the desire to eat and to sustain so that I can look forward to something else in my personal life. And don't get me wrong, I have amazing family, I have amazing friends. All of those things and those relationships are things that I have manifested. If you knew my background, 
you would look at me and be like, Jess is an amazing person, but how would it be realistically possible for her to have these connections around her? Because I manifested them. There's nothing that the external world that I, I've manifested, right? There's nothing around the external world that could fix the internal problem if you wanna consider me broken or if I wanted to consider myself broken. I don't consider myself broken. I also, I just felt like this is just who I am. If you looked at my astrolog astrological chart, you would also be able to see those struggles. Um, but I think the reason why it is that I'm calling to share this with you guys today, guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm still holding on to Nova's paw as I'm sharing this. I love her, by the way. I think the reason why I'm calling this today is because I've talked to you guys and I've coached you guys through the spiritual, a good chunk of mental and a good part of emotional, but I've never touched physical because that was the one part of me that really genuinely hadn't had that figured out yet and it wasn't even a priority. But in order for us to have balance here on earth, the physical has to take play. The physical has to show up. And for every single one of us, it's gonna be different. Yoga was something that really helped me and so does dance. I used to dance like in my room, which I know that sounds crazy, but I used to like watch other dancers and dance in my room when I was living in this like program in, in Jersey that was like for youth that were like aging out of the foster care system. I was there for years. It was imperative for my mental and emotional growth. If it wasn't for me being able to be there, I wouldn't have been able to be in outpatient therapy in order to help my depression, my eating disorders and stuff like that. Um, but I used to dance like bananas, like just crazy there and just explore myself through movement, through dance. Also yoga was a big thing for me, but as far as like building strength, the gym now has has literally unlocked an amazing door where I'm actually able to have balance and I've been going to the gym damn near every day and it has been the missing piece to this bigger puzzle. If you are someone that deals with depression, anxiety, and you're spiritual, well, if you're someone who deals with depression and anxiety, I number one, I get it, honey. I, I already accepted that I was gonna be living with this for the rest of my life and for anybody who says, well, Jess, you manifest that by speaking that, you have to understand that for some of us, we've been living with this since we were a child. Don't get me started on the dreams, the visions. The thoughts, the feelings that it is I've had since I was a kid. If I've been having those thoughts and feelings since I was a kid, since I was a kid, they're not going away in my 30s. It's about to rain. Is it safe in today's day and age to eat rain? Yeah, I promise you they're not going away. Those feelings and those thoughts are not going away. I do wanna say that I wasn't sure that I would be able to find a, a good outlet. The gym has been my outlet. The reason why I feel like I'm called to share this, just to bring it around full circle, is because I want to encourage those who are spiritual but haven't, and you rely on your faith or your faith sometimes gets questioned because of how bad you might feel, which sometimes that's me, a lot of times that's me. Um, try the gym, try working out, try getting as much into your physical body and pushing yourself in those limits. It has helped me tremendous. But on top of that, and maybe that could be a solution, a life-threatening solution, a life-changing solution from a life-threatening situation. Also, sign, I'm sorry, I can sign up for that. Um, but on top of that, I want to guys, I want to also reveal to you the truth of my experiences by leading through example, continuing to lead through example and taking it to the next level. This is why the parts of myself that have been the most productive have also been the parts of myself that have been the most destructive to me. This is why the parts of myself that are so happy to provide through my purpose and have anchored me have also been a part of the anchor that has sank me. New Orleans was a key time and a moment at the one of the heights of my quote unquote career, but also the bottom, the very bottom of my personal. There is nothing external that I could ever manifest that could really help to fix an internal thing that I did not understand and I didn't have the keys and the resources to fix. 
without a team, whether that be medical, emotional team, for example, like therapists, counselors, or the divine, spiritual, right? I wanna encourage anybody who's feeling like giving up that I've, I've confronted those feelings again and again and again. I'm 35 in a few days. I'm 35 years old. I've confronted those feelings again and again, not just once a year, not just once a month, but for a long time, it was moment by moment. It was always in the back of my head. It was always in the back of my mind. Even when I was living my most authentic person purpose and doing what it was that I loved, the shadow, the cloud was still there. It would always be there. And it can get really hopeless when you feel like no matter what you're doing, it's never going to be enough and that this is just the way that you are, the way that you are, and it's only just a matter of time. The truth is, is that you, you are not just your purpose. I've learned that. You're not just the people who are around you and love you. You're a big part of your feelings. And what can really help, I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna heal you and fix you because we're all in this together, but what has really helped me thus far is having, is, is being consistent with a balance and the physical aspect of that that I've been showing up with you guys seen in my in my personal Instagram I've been going to the gym literally every day it has seriously unlocked something in me that has pushed me to help my body to even heal itself and I, I'm telling you as I'm shredding the my body as I'm sh like building my weight as I'm building down and breaking down the muscle I'm also breaking down the trauma I'm breaking down the memories I'm breaking down the pain likewise without also hurting myself your body is wired for survival and sometimes survival is not enough and i want you guys to know that you're not in this alone that we are going to fucking shred the shit out of our lives i am going to be a testament to that i'm going to have a long and happy life i'm going to i don't know if you guys can relate to this but like there's like happy moments but <laughs> you feel like they're like I don't know like the happy moments will be there but it's just like you're just gonna go back or there's always like the happy moment but with the, that cloud is always there I just want to say that that cloud is getting smaller and smaller every day and I've and also I don't hate it because if it wasn't for that cloud and I call them my stormy days my cloudy days my family knows that like I just embrace it but it's also what has made me so connected to the planet it's also what made me rely on the divine and rely on my faith unlike anything other and that's one thing that I admire about myself is my faith and my spiritual my spirituality and my belief systems and how I seriously anchor myself into the spiritual into the divine that is my source. If it wasn't for my depression, S, you know, S, you know, blah, 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 that would not have led me to my spiritual practice, which is something that I share with you guys today, but also it's like, I can't imagine living my life without it. It has been a blessing as much as it has been the thing that I'm just like, yikes, you know? So spirit said to me, lead by example and I was then it started talking about the gym like it brought up the gym and the importance of the gym for me now and the importance of the role that it plays in my life and the fact that I have physically have neglected that in pursuit of thinking like spiritually I'm good <laughs> mentally I'm not good but I'm working on it emotionally I'm not good but I'm working on it so those are things that we could talk about but I was never talking about the physical with you guys because number one I didn't have that all figured out and I didn't feel like it was time for that so to the person that this message is for and the people that this message is for because I 1,000, you don't even have to tell me, I already know there's more than one of us in here in the group chat right now. Um, yeah, I was also thinking, it's not a shameless self plug, but I was also, we, there's Bahati Life trips coming up, like Bahati Life retreats. I was thinking of like a mental health one. They've already reached out to me. Nova, just leave the girl alone. Come here, come here, Nova, come. She, yo, she just gave a heavy sigh. Come here, Nova. No one needs your attitude right now. Not me, not the chicken, and not the collective. 
Look at her. She's sick of you. Sorry. Um, I was thinking of like a mental health retreat <laughs> where we just don't work magic, but we just be and just vibe and connect and hug it out. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see. This year is booked. I can't believe it. Wow. I can't believe it's the end of the year. Um, but also the way that I'm feeling right now is a testament to the fact that it won't be forever. And there's going to be moments. There's going to be moments. A lot of moments that I, I'm going to have to push through, but we'll get through it together, guys. And I just wanted to lead by example and share that truth. Also, 313 on the clock. So that's a sign for someone. I love you. I love you. What's your favorite juice? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. We were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.